your Star Wars ranked is a work in progress? You haven't seen all the Star Warses yet? Oh, you've only seen the numbers ones. Oh, you haven't seen the sequel trilogy yet. Ooh, that'll be interesting to see what you put. Wait, what the f***? What the f*** is this? Why? Why did I even click on this list? Because now I have to talk about how Revenge of the Sith is number one. <laughs> Why? Why? No! All right. All right, buddy. Here's the thing. What the f***, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even be serious. I can't even take this seriously. And it's not even mostly because of Revenge of the Sith being number one. It's that you have Return of the Jedi as number two. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I just, I, I can't, I can't. I don't know. You broke me. You broke my fucking brain. I'm dead now. I'm not going to be able to stream for the rest of the day. I'm going to have to go lie down. I'm going to have to take a fucking aspirin after this. What is this? What is the work in progress? Are you, like, deciding that maybe this is, this is wrong? That this is all wrong? <laughs> no. No. Okay, so we all know that A New Hope should be number one. We all know that Empire Strikes Back is number two. We all know that Return of the Jedi is number three. We all know that Phantom Menace is number four. We all know that Revenge of the Sith is number five. And we all know that Attack of the Clones is number six. It's the only one you got right. You're one for six. Congratulations. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Return of the Jedi is the most nostalgic because we all saw it when we were kids. And we were like, yo, Ewoks, I like those. Because they're little furry things that are cute. <sighs> I guess it would be weird if someone like uh, my age would be like, oh, actually, Empire Strikes Back is the most nostalgic because I'm really into, you know, people getting their hands chopped off. That was my favorite thing when I was seven. A New Hope is not number one. It's one of the most boring Star Wars films. What the f*** did you just say? I disagree thomas i disagree <laughs> a few moments later how in the good goddamn are you gonna tell me that star wars episode 4 a new hope is the most boring star wars and then you're gonna come at me and say that empire is the best i'm gonna give you guys a hot take but you know what doesn't make for compelling cinema a guy crash landing in a swamp talking to a puppet for half an hour you know what else doesn't make for compelling cinema? A couple of people being shown around a goddamn set that's supposed to replicate the top of a cloud structure on Bespin. You know what else isn't the most exciting thing in the world? Everything else that happens in that movie with the exception of the beginning battle on Hoth and the ending confrontation between Luke and Vader. And that's fucking it. You want to talk to me about a sleep-inducing Star Wars film? It's Empire Strikes Back. I know that it's really good, but it is a f***ing snore fest for most of it. At least the prequel films can hold my attention because they're so goddamn bad I can't help but laugh throughout the entirety of them. Obi-Wan's character gets completely ruined in A New Hope? What do you mean he gets completely ruined? What you, you know it was the first one, right? You know that it was the first Star Wars movie. How could his character get ruined in the first Star Wars movie? What ruined it? The fact that he was awesome? That's some f***ing prequel shit nonsense, isn't it? <laughs> That's you being super in love with Ewan McGregor and then saying to yourself, Hey, you know what? The movie that came out 20 years beforehand... You're Kermit the Frog now, by the way, because you're a f***ing Muppet. Yeah, that one's definitely better. Ewan McGregor, number one. The best one who ever lived. Ewan McGregor, number one in our hearts. Ugh. Okay, we can all agree Last Jedi is the worst Star Wars film. No, we can't, Thomas. No, we can't. It's the best of the sequel films, Thomas. It's a top five Star Wars films, Thomas. Ah, you're like Reddit come to life, Thomas. And not cool Reddit, but Reddit like three years ago. Wait, no, when did, when did The Last Jedi come out? 2017? Reddit six years ago, Thomas. <laughs> 
Top five of like 11 isn't saying much. Yeah, but it does mean that it's not number 11 out of 11. Yeah, Rise of Skywalker is the worst one. <laughs> By the way, if anyone uh, uh, is interested to know, uh, Rocco is about to take a shit because uh, Thomas's opinions on Star Wars are so bad. He just did it. He just took a big shit. And then with his little claw, he wrote, Thomas is wrong about Star Wars in the shit. It was a really long shit. I don't have to see it to know that it was a long shit because that's all he does is long shits a few moments later and i just you know what it's not gonna be part of the roast i just want to put this here because we were talking about it star wars the last jedi four and a half stars out of five so good says burby way to go burby you got my back oh burbster coming through again what that's the first time that's ever happened i didn't see your list you're right i didn't actually i mean i guess i should go back and do your lists <laughs> shit all right I just don't know how much I'm going to be able to get mad at you now since you've been so kind to me. But let's see. Let's see. What do we got in the lists? Oh, God, there's a Star Wars list. Is this why you paid $2? Is this why you paid $2, Burby? Because you wanted to see me react to your Star Wars list? Do you want to see a grown man cry on live stream, Burby? Is that what gets you off, Burby? I just realized that your name rhymes with Furby. That must suck for you. Let's do it. Let's look at the stupid Star Wars list. Hey, The Last Jedi is number one. <laughs> it's not even vindication because I don't agree, but hey. <laughs> it's something. Force Awakens? I mean, that's wrong. That should be further down. Rogue One is number three. Wait, Rise of Skywalker number four. Is this... How wrong is this? I'm trying to, I'm trying to determine because, like... As I said, Last Jedi is like fourth or fifth, so it's 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 off. It's it's not where it should be. The Force Awakens is a bottom tier film. Rogue One is like near the top half. Rise of Skywalker is the absolute butthole turd toilet of the whole goddamn franchise. Oh, hold on. Oh wait, yeah. Some people, some people in the chat saw it before I saw it. Star Wars: A New Hope. Last place. Last place, Burby. Star Wars, A New Hope. <laughs> the film that along with Jaws changed the landscape of American cinema and by contrast, or in addition to, world cinema. Did you know that blockbusters, Burby, didn't exist before Star Wars and Jaws? Did you know that Star Wars modernized and revolutionized the science fiction genre when it came out, Burby? Did you know that? Did, did The Last Jedi do that do you think did the phantom menace did the rise of skywalker burby no no it didn't do any of these films have a more iconic score from john williams than star wars a new hope no of course not you see here's the thing burby i'm not mad i'm not a mad i'm not mad anymore i'm just disappointed in you very very disappointed in you. I wonder if there's any other lists. Hey, there's a Sam Raimi list. Does it have Evil Dead? Does it have Evil Dead Two at the top? No, it's automatically incorrect. A few moments later. My God, are you guys just making these Star Wars films ranked lists because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm doing this live, and you're like, oh, I know how to f with TJ. I know how to make his night terrible. I know how to really piss him off. Yeah, I'm just going to do more Star, Ra Star Wars films ranked. Sure, I guess let's look at this one. This one's mostly correct. This one is the most correct list we've looked at so far. Thank you. Actually, no one has put the uh, the holiday special in these, eh? Wait, did you, did you just make this list? Are you kidding? Published 16 minutes ago? You f***er. You knew! You knew what this would do to me! Oh, you rotten bastard! I've been too nice to you! Oh, the gloves are f***ing off! Oh, they are off now! I was about to compliment this. Actually, you know what? I'm still gonna compliment it. Uh, I got, I got, I gotta admire it. I gotta admire it. Thank you, thank you for f***ing with me. <laughs> it's very kind of you. So obviously, I think that I've talked about this already. Star Wars should be in the spot; should be number one spot. Aside from that, though, it's just pretty close. 
Rise of Skywalker in last place. Love to see it. I don't... Shit. I don't think Revenge, <laughs> Revenge of the Shit uh, should be over The Force Awakens. But everything else is pretty much in the right spot. I would say Phantom Menace is better than Attack of the Clones. Uh, but yeah, this is good. TJ, is there a way to search for lists? There has to be one that has uh, as number one, and you should be subjected to that. I don't think you can search for lists in that way. Like, if you just do, like, you know... If I were to just search, like, Star Wars Ranked, right? I could then uh, filter in and just only look at lists, right? And so we can actually, like, scroll through this and just see if The Rise of Skywalker ever is someone's number one. How many, how many, how many pages do you think we're going to have to go through before we find that? Someone has the holiday special as number one. This person's f***ing around. Revenge of the Sith? No, we're not looking for that one. We're looking for The Rise of Skywalker. I'm not seeing it. I, I, I don't think, I don't think that anyone is going to have that horrendous of taste. I know that we're talking about the internet. I know that there are a lot of stupid things on this, on the internet as a whole. Like you can literally go to websites and watch people get their heads cut off. Like that's a real thing you can do on the internet. But even on that internet, I don't think anyone is going to put the rise of skywalker as the number one star wars film we're on page four or five right now and i ain't seeing it i'm seeing too many revenge of the sis in first place i'll tell you that for sure but i am not seeing any rise of skywalkers in fact i haven't even really seen the poster pop up yet in the top five although i'm not really looking i'm gonna stop after this page okay I'm going to assume that it doesn't exist. I'm not going to go through all 13 of these pages. If anyone else wants to do that and then send it to me so I can like have nightmares for the rest of my life about how civilization is slowly collapsing all around us, great. That would be that would be awesome. Thank you. All right, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about Star Wars anymore. I'm not.